Mr. Mullen, uh, we're back from a break. Uh, you had a chance to lay down and take some oxygen in uh, a room here at the motel. Is, is that correct? I'm somewhat revived. All right. Revived. Richard Mullen was my father, and he was a very gentle, very loyal, very generous man. They called it the unquenchable, indestructible stone. They called it asbestos. I was angry at what happened, and I was frustrated. I needed to find out as much as I possibly could about the use of asbestos today. My first stop I knew I had to take was in Quebec and I knew that I had to go and I had to find out why it was still being mined there and like and what the situation was. Chrysotile extracted from the two mines here in Tedford are sold out of Canada. And where does it go? It's mostly in Asia for the proportion of about 66%. And it goes to India, Asia, and it's all used over there. After I was in Quebec, I knew that I actually had to follow the, the trail of asbestos, where asbestos was being exported to, and one of the places was India. Well, we met in September, about the uh, 14th of September, 1959, in Kuwait. I was a new teacher employed by British Petroleum and Gulf Oil. Dick was working in the neutral zone between Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. And he, um, one of the teachers asked, he had a car, if he would escort the new teachers to this reception for the new staff arriving. And so he came by my house and he picked me up with two or three other girls. And he always said I jumped in the front seat and the sparkling brown eyes just slayed him. And from that moment, we, we were together. Mm -hmm. 